Okay, welcome back from Mombasa. So this is the uh, final day of the Mombasa Chess Championship. Uh, good to all those who went and uh, traveled from far countries. So it was a six-round tournament, and uh, I believe everyone had fun uh, close to the beach. Uh, Mombasa Chess Championship. So uh, the winner of this tournament was Peter Majuma Nyang. Uh, Peter Majuma Nyang is from South Sudan uh, in East Africa. And one of the beautiful games in this tournament was uh, against Pancho Madol. So this guy was able to win the trophy. And let's see this game, how it went. Uh, as pretty fast, uh, it was a brief game and it was very explosive. Pancho Madol is also a very um, tactical player, very explosive. So this was really uh, destined for, for a clash of uh, titans. So let's see what really happened. Uh, Peter Majul, of course, he likes this move e4. Then we see d5 on board. So d5 brings us uh, the, to the Scandinavian defense. Then we see takes, and then the queen. Then the queen takes. So we see the knight attacking the queen, and the queen falls back. So this is the Valencian variation. So when the queen falls back, we know that the queen can always go to f5, can fly around um, most of these uh, safe places. So this time the queen goes back, which is the Valencian variation, and then we see on the board d4. So on the board we see e6, of course, opening up for the bishop, and then we see knight f3. And then we have this knight f6, and then bishop d5. Of course, everything is still pretty standard. This is the Valencian vari variation. And then we see on board bishop to e7. So we, at this point, we, that, that's when we see bishop d3 attacking this uh, pawn on, uh, attacking the pawn on h putting a strike on h7 of course everything is still intact and then we see some pins on board so we see the short castling and then queen e2 queen e2 is always a move which comes in uh, from white uh, when white is ready for a fight of course most times white usually goes short castling but in this variation we can see also long castling on board so we see this uh, knight coming in of course we always expect these uh, pawn breaks when we see knight knight b to d7 and then at this point we see h4 h4 is a very bold move because we know that uh, maju is very aggressive and also expanding on the king side so this is when we see this move uh, c6 of course uh, we see that white is seeming to have an edge on the on the on the king side and then we see on board long castling long castling of course is putting some uh, some 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 potential strikes on the king side and then we see and then we see on board a, a mistake, an inaccuracy, which is a pawn to b5. Pawn to b5, that's when we see that, uh, of course, Pancho was, uh, Pancho was cracking. And we, 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 can, we can now see that, uh, so we can see that this was an inaccuracy on board. And then we can see that uh, the knights are really coming in pretty fast. So we see knight e4 on board. And then that's when we see knight to d5. Of course, Pancho is cracking at this moment, and that's when we see that everything is not well, uh, well, well grinded on the king side for Pancho's side. So we see on the board knight to e5, and that's when we see takes, takes. But of course, uh, the king side on Pancho's side is really cracking up, and that's when we see the pawn to c5. That's when we see a brilliant move on board knight to f6. Of course, at this point, even the brilliant move queen to h5 was also very handy. And we could see that uh, the king side was also was already cracking up. But on the board, we, but on the, in the game, we saw this brilliant move knight to f6, a sacrifice. Of course, we know that if the pawn takes, of course, everything is still falling apart. As uh, if the pawn takes, we, also, we all know that the queen will just come in. Of course, the ch there are many checkmate strikes on the, on the king side. So, of course, he used the bishop, Pancho uses the bishop, and that's when we see the pawn takes bishop. And everything was not still holding on. Of course, he tried to hold on, the, he, tried to, he tried to hold the king side, but of course, we see these pawns coming in pretty fast, cracking up the king side. That's when we see queen to h5, so, sorry, queen to a5. Queen to a5 is just trying to crack up the king, the qu the king uh, on the queen side, but of course, we know it's too late. Of course, that's when Pancho, uh, sorry, Maju cracks the cracks the king side with pawn with pawn takes g6 pawn takes g6 of course the king is really now very vulnerable and that's when we see the that's when we see 
upon text g6 f text g6 but of course that that, that doesn't save pancho because the rook also comes in handy with another sacrifice if you take the rook of course the queen will be uh, if the king takes the rook of course the queen will be coming in and the checkmate will be inevitable so but of course on the board uh, pancho didn't take the rook of course he tries to hold on the position by 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 putting up the rook there but of course this does not save the the king of course we know that even though you take the rook of course things are just uh, the queen uh, the queen is just coming in in time and with the tempo and everything is just falling apart he tries to fight back with the rook takes but then it is too late for him to take this of course at this point all the pieces are just ready to strike all engines are ready to ride and uh, at this at this point we, that's when we see that pancho gives up the game and and throws in the towel so this is how the mombasa chess championship ended and this was a very beautiful game a good setup from a beautiful game from majul manyang uh this is one of south sudan's best players so far at the moment so this was a very beautiful game and thank you for watching see you in the next series bye